I watch the mist as it lovingly embraces others, as seen in these photographs from a family reunion. Because the orbs love people, when groups of people come together and share mind, the orbs can be quite spectacular. You can feel them coming and playing with the crowds. When we take images of people and they have the orbs in them, and we show them back, there's this feeling that we get from people like they always knew that there was something more. They always knew that something existed, but they sort of doubted themselves. And in seeing the orb or themselves with the orb pictures, it makes them feel like, yes, this is really validation. There really is something else. Everything is not just the 3D world that we've, that we've come to think of as reality. And there's sort of an opening that happens, a doorway where people can feel that there's more. Another place where we photographed orbs was a sacred tree that we were taken to. Once I realized that the orbs were not only at the sanctuary, but they were everywhere, where there was spiritual energy, feelings from people, feelings from the earth, we decided to do more exploring and took a trip to the southwest. This is a church celebrated in a painting by Georgia O'Keeffe. Here is a church in the old square in Albuquerque, New Mexico. People have been praying here continuously for 200 years, so it's no wonder it has such a sacred feeling and a congregation of orbs. On the same trip to the southwest, we pulled into a motel for the night, and I saw a little cabin sitting off to the side in the back. At first I thought it was a playhouse because it was so sweet. Then as I walked over to it, I realized it was an old three-story log homestead that had been very well preserved. I knew I would have to come back later to photograph it. Then, when we went into our room and looked out the window, we could see into the backyard of the cabin, and there were huge trees. It all felt so magical. When we photographed it that night, the spirits were everywhere, bouncing and bouncing everywhere. There was a sense that amid the concrete, all the spirits from far and wide had come to this little piece of earth that was still natural and alive.
We went to a barter fair one night when there was a full moon, and while photographing there, I found orbs everywhere. Again, there was music there, and the orbs loved the music, and the orbs loved the energy. What are we willing to stand for? When will we rise up and say that life on this planet is precious, and we don't want to live in a limited way? Rise up, rise up, rise up with our fear. Rise up, rise up to save what we hold dear. To have a peaceful revolution, people need to make a stand. We need to have a peaceful revolution. Orbs love to play. It's kind of like your energy that makes them. Well, it's like you need generators for your house to have power. It's like our bodies are powering them to still be alive. Everything helps them be alive. It's like everything helps them be what they are. You've got to actually reach out to them and listen. It's just you can't really see them with your eyes. It's only it's kind of like they only can show up on pictures. If someone takes a picture of you, they're like this. Bam, they're right there. They're watching you. It's like they can see into your mind. Sometimes you can feel them kind of surrounding you. Sometimes the mist looks like angels. Oh yeah, I feel them sometimes. But sometimes it's just like you want to have fun, you're not paying any attention to anything. It's like you get extra energy. It's pretty fun when my mom is in there. When you have more people having fun, it's like there's more energy and they want to have, they want to be around this energy that's really cool. If you get scared of the orbs, the orbs get scared of you. The orbs go away. Yeah, the orbs are really nice to play with sometimes. Sometimes if you just jump, sometimes if you jump, you can almost hit them, but they would move. You're surrounded by balls of light. I think that they're a physical embodiment of light spirits, perhaps um, elementals showing themselves, energy, something along those lines, or perhaps all of them. <laughs> Sean boots out and Mm, I think they're over there. So we go over there and shoot, 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 and a lot of times, bam, you know, there's, shoot one, and what'd you get this time? Oh, there's some right there. Oh, there's a red one, you know. But uh, you, you just never know. I, I, I can't see a pattern in it yet. Sean seems to think that we go to a certain area in the field that he can see or feel where they're at. I haven't tried to do that yet. I'm just the shooter. The good thing about this orb photography is you don't have to be a medium, you don't have to be John Edwards to do this. I don't have any special abilities when it comes to that, but I can go out with my digital camera and man, there's a face in this thing. Where did it come from? There's several faces. Uh, I'm not anybody special. Uh, what's good about this is anybody can go out there and do this right now. Uh, Maybe John, maybe if John Edward went out there and with his digital camera, he'd get a lot of faces in there. I don't know, but right now, I mean, just average people need to have a conduit to something supernatural to get beyond the mundane. Because we know there's we know there's things out there. We just want some proof once in a while, and we're getting it now. Yeah. Without special turnings, without seances, without special equipment. Just an old digital camera, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, a it's, new, it's a new thing, and it's uh, the digital cameras are cheap enough now that an average person can afford one. I can walk in the field, and the first thing I feel is tingly hands. And um, 
it's difficult to explain. It's a feel. It's not a see with me. I can feel them, but I can sort of feel them coming around. Very friendly. Very friendly. They want to kind of play. I've, I've been out there in the daytime blowing bubbles. <laughs> I see if they'd enjoy that. <laughs> but you can, <laughs> you, sure enough, you can't see them. I mean, I, I haven't got the, the um, gift of seeing, but I do feel. And I can feel them around, yeah. They seem to come. I can play, I can wave my hands and sense them playing, you know, with the energy that I'm giving out. Well, it seems like every time we come here, we'll get one, or every other time we come here and try to do it, we'll get one that's really good, a really good one. Uh, but we see, you know, quite, plenty of orbs. Sometimes we'll come out here and nothing. Sometimes nothing. But, uh, well, at least half the time, we'll get some really good ones. We can have all kinds of proof, and some people will never believe it because they're just not ready. talk to them really, you know, mentally, you know, come, come, come to play, <laughs> are you coming out to play, come on I'm over here, come and play, and yeah, they seem to now. Mm. Whichever of um, ETs, light spirits, whatever, in whatever dimension, they're really trying to come through to us now, um, and it's so terribly necessary that they do. The for the transition that's coming up, we do desperately need to raise our vibrations and sensitize to them. And I do feel that they're using every media they can get now to open us up to whatever's there. And they're doing a good job. <laughs> I feel it's another way of communicating with another dimension. And that's it really. <laughs> that's all it is to me. I just love to communicate with them. They seem to be everywhere there's a vortex. And it, I, it seems to me that if there are orbs seen around the crop circles, that just proves that the energy there is vortex energy. And best of all, it's fun. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. <laughs> My friend Mary came over one evening and, and wasn't feeling very well. So we decided to do an orb session with her. When we took those orb pictures, well, I was feeling good sitting out here on the granite rock. Being outside is a very spiritual experience for me. It's like my church. <laughs> so I was just feeling good with the trees and the rock and the, and the mountain. And I hadn't been feeling good earlier in the day and I said a strong prayer to my angels. And, and I was feeling like I was healing in the moment and just, I was just feeling fine here and now.